Hi movie lovers, hello, and welcome to the Chalks Movie. Today, I'm going to tell you about a movie called Moonfall, which tells the story of a moon that unexpectedly fell out of orbit. In addition to this, the aftermath of this event will likely result in the moon colliding with the Earth. Okay, for the sake of the entertainment value of the movie, let's just dive right into the plot of the movie. The opening sequence of the movie depicts three astronauts working together to fix a satellite. At first, the repair goes smoothly, however, after some time has passed, a mysterious creature materializes and begins attacking the astronauts. Both an astronaut with the name Brian and another with the name Valerie made it through the ordeal unscathed. However, there was a second astronaut who could not be saved. The next character is a young boy by the name of Sony, Brian's son by a previous relationship. At the time, Sony was looking at the news on his cell phone about the incident involving the spaceship crash while living with Brenda, who is Brian's ex-wife. Sony saw his father on television, where Brian was attempting to explain to the media whether or not the accident was caused by extraterrestrial beings in space. NASA, on the other hand, views the incident as nothing more than a routine accident. In this tale, which takes place exactly 10 years ago, there was a chubby man named KC tried to get in touch with the NASA office so he could report his discovery, but he didn't have enough time to explain why Valerie or Brian's co-workers had ignored calls from KC in the past. Valerie, who now works for NASA, received an unexpected phone call in the middle of the night from someone in the NASA office who wanted to provide her with some crucial information. After that, Valerie entrusted her young child to the care of a nanny named Michelle. As soon as Valerie arrived at the NASA office, she was given information regarding whether or not there was a moon that had been out of orbit, as well as the fact that in the coming days, the moon would also crash into the Earth. Move on to KC, who is a gentleman who is very interested in astronomy. KC wants to work at the NASA office in addition to fulfilling his lifelong ambition of becoming an astronaut. Unfortunately, KC's application to work at the NASA office has been denied. After that, KC conducted independent research on the state of affairs in space. KC became aware that one of the moons had fallen out of orbit. After the event that occurred 10 years ago, the focus of the scene shifts to Brian. Brian was fired from his job, and the accident that was caused by an alien in the past is now a secret kept by the leader of NASA. This time around, Brian is employed in a museum where he educates visitors about the current state of affairs in space. When Brian arrived at the Kansas City Museum, he went straight to Brian and requested his assistance in making contact with NASA. Brian obliged immediately. KC stated that he knows this because he performs calculations on space objects, but Brian thinks KC is ridiculous and wonders if he has lost his mind. KC knows this because he performs calculations on space objects. When Brian got back to his house, his ex-wife contacted him to ask if Sony or Brian's biological child had been found and taken into custody by the authorities. The following morning, Brian appeared in court to fight for his son's release. However, 
due to the fact that the police discovered drugs in Sony's vehicle, the judge made the unfortunate decision to send Sony to jail. When Casey turned to look at Keith, he saw that Keith was visiting his elderly mother. Keith's mother expressed hope that Casey would find employment with NASA. Casey does not want his mother to be unhappy and doesn't want her to. If Casey had ever worked at the NASA office, he was compelled to tell a lie about it. Elsewhere, in a different location Valerie and the head of NASA are working together to find a solution to the problem of the moon being in a state in which it will collide with the Earth. Valerie then contacted the military general who is her ex-husband, whose name is Doe. Valerie just wants to tell about the phenomenon of the moon that will hit the Earth. Valerie's goal is to inform Doe. Meanwhile, a leader from NASA had previously informed everyone that a moon would collide with the Earth within the next few days. However, it appears that people are not concerned about the impending catastrophe, and NASA has a plan. NASA dispatched a number of astronauts to investigate the state of affairs in space in order to find a solution to this problem. People in various locations are violent toward one another because they are in a state of extreme panic. While this is going on, a few NASA astronauts are attempting to investigate a crater on the moon. Turning to Brian, seeing Brian who had come to the building where KC worked, Brian desired to extend his apologies to KC for the actions that he had taken previously. Brian is interested in learning more about Keith's knowledge of the moon. And Casey explains that they have been researching the conditions in space for a number of years now. Following extensive research, Casey came to the conclusion that a moon actually contains a piece of technology. However, Ryan was immediately perplexed by Casey's explanation. Back at the NASA headquarters, some of the astronauts who had been dispatched by NASA now were forced to perish after being attacked by a mysterious creature. In the meantime, the moon is moving closer to the Earth, which causes the Earth's gravity to be drawn toward the moon. In addition to this, this caused tsunami waves to occur in every single part of the world. Afterwards, Brian, who is accompanied by KC, makes preparations to seek refuge from the tsunami disaster that is going to strike where they are. On the other hand, the previous leader of NASA is becoming increasingly dissatisfied with his circumstances, and as a result, he hands over the reins of leadership to Valerie. After this, Valerie, who is now the leader of NASA, attends a meeting with military officials in the United States, and they all agree to blow up the moon using a nuclear weapon. While this is going on, Brian and Casey are having a conversation about extraterrestrial life on the moon. KC shared Brian's speculation that the creature might be an extraterrestrial being. As the world's predicament continued to deteriorate, Brian, who was sleeping at the time, was startled awake by an unexpected visit from several military personnel who had been ordered by NASA. Brian and KC were then transported to the NASA office. Upon his arrival, Brian met up with Valerie, who had been his former teammate. Valerie mentioned that she would be interested in going to space if she had a mission that required it. On the moon, 
Brian is given the mission to eliminate a hostile organism. Several researchers from NASA have looked into the possibility that the creature may have been the one responsible for the moon's departure from its orbit. The next step is that Brian accepts Valerie's offer, on the condition that either her son or Sony can be freed from jail during that precise time. After that, Valerie extended an invitation to Brian to accompany her to a plane that Brian will use in the future. Soon, we will begin making the necessary preparations to send the spacecraft into orbit. In addition to this, Sony, or Brian's son, has recently been discharged from the military. When Brian first saw his son after a long time, he was overcome with emotion. Elsewhere Doe offers Valerie his protection in the event that she and other military officials are taken to a bunker in the Colorado mountains during the crisis. Making the switch to Casey suddenly, as he was going over the details of space travel, an earthquake struck, which caused the building to shake violently. Because of this, a number of machines and other pieces of equipment immediately began to malfunction and could no longer be used. Valerie issued an order to workers at NASA immediately directing them to take shelter in the protection bunker. Valerie then went to KC to let them know that NASA has decided to call off the mission, and she shared this information there. KC, who didn't want all of this to end just like that, did the calculations and found the loophole. KC said that if the mission could still be carried out, Valerie said that their plane wouldn't reach the moon because their engine wasn't working. But KC said that if he has an idea to launch the plane when the moon is directly above the Earth, they will use the opportunity when the moon is sucking the Earth's gravity immediately the idea from KC was immediately approved by Valerie, but because all of the astronauts have been evacuated at this point, only the three of them will go to the moon. After that, Brian gave instructions to Sony to head to the underground shelter, where she would be joined by Michelle and also Valerie's daughter. Ms. KC was finally able to be rescued by some members of the military before the current global catastrophe, which is simultaneously occurring in every part of the world. After everything is ready, the plane is prepared to take off, but at that precise moment, they will be hit by a very large tsunami wave where they are. Currently, Brian is with Valerie, and KC has completed their previous mission. KC, who has always wanted to become an astronaut, can now say that he has achieved his goal and is living out his dream. During this time, Sony, who was on his way to the underground shelter bunker, was unexpectedly halted by a group of people who then stole his vehicle. Next, Sony extended an invitation to Michelle, Valerie, and their son to visit Sony's mother at her home. Because the moon was getting closer to the Earth at this point, it was able to absorb all of the Earth's gravity. This also results in a number of meteors from outer space crashing down onto the surface of the Earth. In the meantime, 
Brian and the others have arrived near the moon. They then use some explosive devices to try to entice the creature away from the plane. However, the creature instead came to the plane from Brian due to Brian's electronic waves, and it promptly detonated the explosive device by using the cell phone signal from the KC. The three of them were perplexed about the nature of these beings because, in comparison to the technological advancements made by humans, these beings appeared to possess an extraordinary level of intelligence and sophistication. Then, Brian came up with the brilliant idea of going into the hole where the monster was to retrieve Sony. who had eventually returned home from his mother. Sony is introduced to Tom, her mother's new husband. When Tom returned from his trip to Brenda, he immediately extended an invitation to visit the underground bunker. After that, Tom extends an invitation to Sony to take some oxygen cylinders, explaining that there is less oxygen on Earth as a result of the moon sucking it in. The action then returns to Brian, who reveals that after entering the hole on the moon, he discovered the reason for the appearance of quite sophisticated technology. This caused the three of them to feel surprised almost immediately. The scene shifts to Sony, where several of the same individuals who stole cars from Sony earlier are now planning to steal Sony goods for the second time. However, this time Sony reacted swiftly and pointed a gun at a leader of the group. While this was going on, Brian continued to travel deeper into the moon, and as he did so, he became increasingly perplexed by the technology that he encountered there. Meanwhile, the evil creature began to pursue Brian from all sides. Luckily, a light helped them, which then saved them all, however, Brian's plane immediately crashed after they were saved. As soon as they walked into the room, this rendered all three of them unconscious immediately. Back to Sony, when Sony is about to head to the bunker for his protection, he also has to fight the looters who want to take the car from Sony. This fight takes place as Sony is about to head to the bunker. At that precise instant, meteors began to rain down from the heavens above. Thankfully, Sony was able to avoid being destroyed in the incident. Doe then contacted Sony and warned them to take cover immediately because a nuclear explosion would soon be set off on the moon as it approached the Earth. Additionally, this will result in radiation that will disperse throughout the air. After Valerie and KC came to the conclusion that they were unable to discover where Brian was located, the two of them made the decision to search for Brian at that location. In the meantime, Brian had a startling awakening and found that he was in an unfamiliar location. After that, Brian saw Sony when she was still a child, and he listened to Sony recount the story of how the previous creature came to be. The narrative starts off by depicting the state of affairs over the course of the previous billions of years, during which time humankind possessed extraordinarily advanced technological sophistication. They then developed an intelligent robot with the intention of using it as a pet, However, the robot eventually developed a consciousness of its own and began to fight back against humanity.
This event also sets off a conflict between humans and intelligent robots, as the robot transforms into something known as nanotechnology. This conflict lasted for close to a few hundred years. Subsequently, humans conducted an experiment, the results of which led to the formation of both the Earth and the Moon. However, nanotechnology emerged billions of years earlier and waged war against the Moon, which is the primary cause of the Moon's ability to escape its orbit. In the past, they were taken aback by the ever-increasing level of sophistication displayed by the aircraft. Valerie and also Casey arrived from elsewhere, and they both went straight to Brian there. Ryan informed Brian that he, Valerie, and KC had to eliminate the previous creature as soon as they boarded the plane. I'll get back to Sony in a minute. In the meantime, the oxygen on Earth is starting to run out. Tom or Brenda's husband gives his oxygen tube to their son. At this point, Tom must take his final breath. In the meantime, Brian and the others are attempting to lure the previous creature into a trap so that they can blow it up somewhere else. Now turning back to Sony, Sony, who had missed seeing Tom, hurried off to look for him. Due to the fact that the moon is now located only a few kilometers from the surface of the Earth, military officials have agreed to detonate the moon. But Doe, who is aware that his ex-wife is still present, immediately rebelled against their plans and demanded that they abort the mission. Whereas in the other hemisphere, it appears that tremendous devastation is beginning to take place. to Brian, the previous intelligence robot still followed in their direction, there was no other chance, so Casey sacrificed himself by blowing up the robot. Casey did this in order to save all of humanity, and then immediately afterward, Casey blew himself up along with the robot. While Sony and Michelle are out looking for Tom, they are forced to deal with the shockwave caused by the impact of a meteor falling to the ground. The previous monster that had been vanquished was responsible for the moon's gradual separation from the Earth, however, things have returned to normal now that it has been eliminated. Both Brian and Valerie were successful in landing on the surface of the Earth. Although they were relieved to see that things were beginning to look up for the planet, they were still mourning the loss of KC. After that, Brian and Valerie were reunited with their own children. At this point, everyone is prepared to begin a fresh new life. The movie appears to end with KC waking up in a location similar to where Brian had been before the credits roll. After this, the movie is over. I really hope that the plot won't be too complicated for you guys to follow this time, and I'll see you in the next storyline. <laughs>